and welcome to the Jatai Academy. I'm Russell Mays, Director of Content, and today we're going to do the Anne Hathaway inspired kind of pixie. She had her hair very short and she had grown it through all different types of lengths from being really short to much longer. And we're going to do kind of a mid length of this shape. We're going to start by taking a parallel uh, parting to the front hairline. We're going to pull that forward and then using my feather plie razor I'm going to start cutting longer to shorter as I go towards the ear. So right at the temple it's going to be a little longer and then getting closer to the scalp as I get closer to the ear. So it being a little longer at the, the top of the section and shorter as I get to the hairline that's actually going to graduate the shape. I'm going to continue taking parallel partings and following the guide sections from underneath as I work that back towards the center of the head. I want to really focus on my razor stroke here because the larger, wider that my razor stroke is, the less weight that my cut is going to have. And I want to keep this shape fairly solid and I want to maintain a consistent razor stroke throughout the entirety of the haircut. So here I'm still working above the ear and making sure all that is as even as possible and taking my time and not taking too big of a section. Here we're going to go all the way down to the nape of the head and follow our guide as we work down towards the nape. Be sure to check out all of our other social media outlets as well. Now as I'm working this section down towards the nape, you notice how in the first section it was longer at the top of the section and it got shorter as I went into the ear. I'm doing the same thing. At the top of the section it's longer and as I get further down the nape it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So I'm actually graduating this whole shape and getting it really nice and tight into the nape following the same sections parallel all the way back to the center of the head and just following my guide as I walk that back. Being mindful to not cut myself, trying to maintain a consistent smooth stroke and realizing that I'm getting tighter and tighter as I go towards the nape of the head. Now I will probably change the blades on the, the plie, maybe haircut every haircut and a half. Uh, once that the razor starts to push the hair, it's time to change the blade because I don't want to fight the blade. I don't want the blade action of cutting the hair to take away my focus on what the task at hand is. So the minute that I start noticing that the blade is pushing or not cutting as effortlessly, effortlessly let me say that correctly, as effortlessly as possible, then I change the blade. Checking as I go. It's looking pretty good here. Now we're working into the back of the head. This whole underneath section that I'm cutting now was sectioned off from the center of the recession to the quarter part, from the quarter part back to where the occipital bone is. And that's going to separate the top of the head from the bottom of the head. So I'm just going to focus on the bottom of the head and we'll deal with the top of the head after we get this whole underneath sectioned in real proper. After that's looking pretty good, now I'm going to go through and clean up and cross check with my Kilto scissors and just point cut that across. Just any long little pieces that hang out. I'm not trying to recut everything, but I'm just being a little neurotic here and I want it a little bit tighter. So going through with my, my scissors and point cutting that in, it'll keep the same texture and the same softness that I got from the razor, but it just tightens the shape up a little bit. and just working horizontal sections, cross-checking until I get that as clean as I'd like. Remembering that the shape was a little tighter at the hairlines and then gradually getting longer as it goes up the head. So cleaning up my graduation, just cleaning up the line. Any long pieces that hang out that I may have missed. Now we're gonna match the other side and I want to start center of the recession on the left side as well 
and then that's going to go to the quarter part back into the occipital bone so I can keep the sections the same on both sides of the head. And I'm going to go through and do exactly the same thing on this side of the head that I did on the other. Parallel sections in the front, longer at the top of the parting, and then gradually getting shorter as I get in towards the, the hairline or above the ear. Parallel sections working that back just like I did on the other side. Now we're ending up in the back of the head and we'll crisscross this section just to make sure that nothing hangs over from the left to the right or the right to the left and keep it as even as we can. You know most of the time me keeping the, the haircut the same on both sides is just about me being patient and not trying to rush through it. So being diligent and focusing on the task at hand while I'm still trying to have a conversation with the client and not get distracted by all the stuff that's going on in the periphery around the salon. So I want to be focused and patient and that just is going to come with time. The more that I do it, the easier it will be for me to divide my attention between conversations and the task at hand. So here we're going to go through and clean up just like I did on the other side using my Kilto scissors and just point cutting just the long little bits that are off that don't quite match. Now we're going to start taking a parallel section to the first section that I took that was separating the occipital bone to the quarter part to the mastoid. Now we're going to pull this out and I'm going to take a fairly broad long stroke and make sure that that blends in with the side. I want to make sure that nothing hangs over and I want to keep that stroke broad so it removes some of the weight. These mannequin heads have a tremendous amount of weight and, and Anne Hathaway's hair is, is like perfect for this shape and this mannequin head has a lot of hair. So by me taking a broader stroke with the hair on top, that's going to soften it and remove some of that weight and we're going to have to remove a lot of weight off this doll head parallel sections. Now as I move up the head you're going to notice I'm going to start holding it closer to the floor. I'm holding it off what's called the peak curvature of the head. So if I was to lay my comb right at the parting you'll see the angle that it projects off the head and that's the angle that I'm holding it. That's going to continue my graduation as I go up but it's also going to bevel the shape. So the line is going to be a curved line by holding it off the peak elevation like that taking a broad stroke to keep it soft and then I'll just continue taking parallel sections until I get to the center of the head and then I know the hair on the other side will not reach this side. Parallel section again you notice her bangs are already kind of following out where that had been cut previously so that's going to kind of be the length that we're going to keep around the front and then everything else is going to get fit in to that. nice broad stroke as we're going and I'm only using my finger to move the blade. I'm not using my elbow or my arm, just a little bit of finger, a little bit of wrist just to keep that broad and compact. The more that I move my arm the more space that I'm going to need. When I'm getting in here tight in these cl uh, close sections to the head I need to tighten up my body movement but not necessarily the razor stroke if that makes sense. Now we're continuing on. This is going to be the last section on the right side of the head. Bangs are falling out and just continue to keep everything nice and light. If you're checking this out on YouTube, please make sure to give this a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell for notifications because it really helps the channel. Also, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so below and also let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Now we're going to move to the opposite side of the head, taking a parallel section to what we had sectioned out for underneath and then we're going to follow the exact same thing I did on the right hand side. Broad razor stroke, working that all the way so it doesn't hang over. Now we're getting to the last sections over here on the left side 
and there's not a whole lot of hair there on the front we're just going to make sure that fits in and you also notice that I'm holding it lower the lower the elevation the more weight that I'm going to have and I'm kind of counteracting that weight with a broad razor stroke but it will still maintain that shape so there's a difference between maintaining the length and maintaining the weight the razor can allow me to maintain the length while removing the weight or I can create length and weight at the same time now we're going to work around the front I'm going to go through and point cut deeply into the front to kind of soften that up because it's not enough for me to get the razor in there so I'm just going to use my scissors around the front to just kind of piece that out a little bit more and also make sure that it blends in to the side of the head which you'll see right there that little corner that sticks out by the eye so we're going to make sure that that blends through and back on both sides now when I'm point cutting like this I'm going in very very parallel to the hair so it's going to remove a lot of weight more so than just making the ends jagged so it's doing two things at once it's removing a little bit of the length and a lot of the weight and forcing it to separate into pieces now we're going to go through and blow it dry get all the movement that we want to it back and forth to kind of make it as neutral as we can take out any cowlicks or flips or dips that we don't like now we're going to go through and take a center section on the top right down the middle and we're going to remove the point that we left in it by cutting it from side to side now here we're going to go through and point cut holding everything 90 degrees from the head as we hold that up and deep point cut that just like we did on the bangs so I'm trying to remove as much weight as I can and some length to make sure that the shape is smooth and even after I've done the center section I will take the center section as my guide take a parallel section to one side and hold the center section and my added section into the center of both of those two sections so I'm walking my guide from the center to the left and then I'll be walking my guide from the center to the right when I do the opposite side and as I get closer to the sides I should run out of hair and there should be very little to take out so now I'm going to remove the center section I have the second and the third section holding those to the center of both of those two sections hold straight up cut if there's anything to cut there's not a whole lot take out some of the weight there's that little corner right there okay we've got that very good and then we'll do the same thing on the other side and now I'm going to go through and channel cut around the front to take out some more weight and to force some more separation I'm using my Kyoto scissors since that's the sharpest pair that I have and whenever I'm channel cutting something like this I don't want a whole lot of resistance from the hair I want to be able to power through it so the sharper the blade that you have the easier it will be to get through thicker sections like this and I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I start to feel like I'm removing enough weight and then I'll just keep going towards the back of the head section by section until I get enough hair removed to where I feel like it's made it less bulky and has a little bit more movement to it also check out the Jatai Academy we have a lot of other information on there not just cutting but also marketing business barbering all kinds of good stuff here is our end result and I think it looks uh, looks pretty good it looks a lot like the picture considering this mannequin head has about twice the amount of hair that Anne Hathaway has shapes good graduations good and there we go thanks for checking it out please uh, leave a comment and we will see you next time